OK, let's now create spaces and edit our spatial hierarchy. For this, we need to enable the spatial tool. I'm going to select this slab and hide it. I'm also going to select my first floor story such that when I create spaces, they're going to be automatically assigned to this first floor building story. So I'm going to select this wall and this one and well, this is a covering. Select this wall and that and that. And this will create my boundaries. Now when I look at my active tool, I can either click here and generate spaces from walls or use Shift A. Now here's our space. We can select it and press F2, rename it to Chambre 3. Now this may be time consuming to do it one by one, so we're going to select all our walls and create our spaces all at once. So I've selected all my external walls and the internal separations. I'll then hit Shift A. So it appears we have a missing space and I'll just add it independently. It's no biggie. If you'd like to edit the geometry of a given space, you can press Tab and you'll have the full geometry shown that you can edit. Now you can also toggle the space visibility by pressing on this button. And last but not least, you can also look at its quantities. So if you go to Object Information, at the moment there are none. You can add them manually by pressing on the plus button and then maybe calculating a few of these. The finished ceiling height is not correct. So we'll keep this blank and I'll press OK. I only have two quantities because I want to show you a little shortcut. When you have any of these BIM tools activated and let's say I have all my spaces selected so all these spaces here, I can press Shift Q and it will auto calculate everything that I have selected. If you'd like to include certain objects in this space, what you'll need to do is select the object such as this covering and edit its spatial container. Assign container. Now if I hide my space my ceiling will also be hidden. Perhaps the ceiling fixtures and the covering should also be part of my space. With all these objects selected, assign container. As you can see, they've all disappeared. That's because they're all under this space. If you didn't have your building story selected before creating spaces, they're probably going to show up somewhere down here, just like these coverings which belong to no story. And one way to fix it is to either edit the spatial container as we just did or just drag it under the correct story.